The Hong Kong court has declined an injunction to suspend the anti-mask law. To explain, protesters had actually filed an injunction to have this imposition of the anti-mask law gotten rid of. The court has actually declined that injunction. In other words, masks stay. Joining us on the phone from Hong Kong is Bloomberg's Karen Lee. Karen, is there any politicization of the courts or anything that we can read into this decision or others' decisions around the protests? Well, you know, the thing to look at tonight here is how people are reacting to this and how they've been reacting since Carrie Lam made this announcement a few hours ago. Um, and people started gathering downtown Hong Kong before she even finished speaking this afternoon, um, announcing that they would enact this emergency ordinance that hasn't been used in more than 50 years. And they've been gathering steadily ever since. Um, there are protests happening in the middle of town. Um, and people are, I, I think it would be, there's a, an eerie vibe in parts of the city areas that are normally really full on a Friday night or pretty empty. People seem to be concerned, a um, bit of a feeling that parts of the city seem to be almost on lockdown. Karen, what else is in the toolbox? What else could the authorities use? Um, well, you know, this ordinance gives would give them, in an extreme situation, sweeping powers to do something as drastic as cutting off the internet, um, making wider arrests, not needing a warrant to search property. Um, and so while this is, at this point, just a face mask ban, um, this is something that has people edgy and a bit worried about what it means going forward. Um, and to that extent, we're seeing a lot of protests planned for Saturday and for Sunday. Um, and this is something the government has said would quell the unrest, and this is what they're looking at it to do. But at the same time, it seems to be fueling momentum and fueling protester anger. Um, and we're going to see how that plays out on the streets here over the next couple of days. Karen, China's official response, at least, has been pretty muted so far. Does China at some point get less muted in its response? You know, China has had a pretty steady um, commentary through this. They've said that they support Carrie Lam, they support the authorities and the police force here um, and have faith in their ability to calm the unrest. So I don't think it's out of character for what we've seen from them for the past few months. Um, and I don't at this point see any indication that that would grow louder or that their line would change.